Bob here, and on this adventure, we go up to this remote lake, explore around, test out a new heater system that I'm gonna be trying to use this winter in very cold climates. We cook some food, we utilize parts off of the FJ. Should be a good time. Let's see what happens. made it to camp. Listen. It's dead silent. The weather today is a little rainy, so we need to probably get a tarp and camp set up pretty quick before the rain comes back. We have a little break in it right now. Look at this. I don't know if these are chanterelles. I can smell them. I don't think they are, but they might be about 40 degrees up here right now so when that sun goes down it's going to get pretty chilly and the plan is to try out the heater that i bought i have no idea how well it's going to work if it's going to work at all never tried one before it was cheap so i bought it and i figured there's one step in the direction of winter camping this winter that i want to do instead of logging around a wood stove which i really like doing that too we're gonna try this. But this lake, I've never seen it this dry. It smells so good out here. All the trees, this is a beautiful fall day. There's no wind. Oh, here comes sprinkles. I can see it in the water. All right, with that being said, let's get camp set up before the rain comes back because it's probably gonna rain on us all night. Copper, did you just roll in something, you stinky? That'll work. It's a little crude. So as long as the tent stays dry, we should be good. And I've never had a problem with this tent. It's always stayed dry for me over the years. I've had it for probably a decade now. Lots of trips with it. The only other problem now is I forgot to bring a chair. Found a little log here and one half, one side's a little dry. Let's not let it get wet. We'll carry that under there and we'll use that as a chair. With camp set up, now I'm gonna start dabbling around a little bit with this little heater. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into on this thing. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't know. Let's find out. This is the heater. I don't know much about these things. I filled it up with diesel. You can see on this side, there's no way to power it. I did bring a thousand watt jackery with me, so hopefully that'll power it. Okay, so basically we gotta put 12 volts to this this is our fuse. Problem is I don't have a 12 volt plug, like a cigarette lighter plug. Everywhere I went today, they didn't have any. We're gonna look inside here. This is my tire pump I've been carrying around for so many years. And it has a 12 volt plug on it. And I think we're gonna have to borrow it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plug I'm gonna put it on there. When in doubt, cut wires. It's 
So now here's the other thing. Don't know which wire here is positive. We're gonna have to pop this open. We're gonna trace the wire and see. Well, that was easy. Look at that. It just pulls out. So our positive wire is gonna be this one. So the one that goes all the way to the back of the cigarette lighter and touches the tip is your positive wire. The one that goes on the edges is your negative. So we're gonna trace this out. So it's gonna be this wire here. And if I'm wrong, we're gonna blow fuses. All right, so it should be this wire here. So we'll tie a knot in this wire. So we know this is the positive. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double check myself. I do have a suspicion that it's gonna get pretty cold tonight. Probably down in the mid thirties, low thirties. All right, top wire has a knot in it. So we're good to go there. Hey buddy, you are soaking wet. Oh, move it along. All right, now all we need to do is splice these ends. I don't think I have any electrical tape with me. I typically do. There's that one. Okay. Now we just gotta wire this up. So let me see if I have any electrical tape or any wire nuts real quick. I didn't find any electrical tape. But what I did find is we'll sacrifice one of my stickers. I got a bunch of these. Use this just so we don't short them out and blow fuses. Uh, Cause who knows, I'll probably end up kicking it or something. I mean, that's basically as good as electrical tape right there. Look at that. We're good there. Yeah, I guess I might as well throw one on the other side since. So there's two pipes down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. See these two pipes. And I have no idea which one's the inlet and which one's the outlet. But I did bring a manual, so maybe it'll tell me. So if the air diffuser's to the right, the exhaust pipe is to the right, according to this. We'll put it on and see what happens. Set it up here on a rock or something. And I don't think it's waterproofed to actually leave it in the rain. This is supposed to have a filter, I guess. Why is there a ball in there? Oh, nuts. I wonder what those go to. Okay. We don't want water getting into the intake. Now, supposedly, this is all you gotta do, right? I'm gonna have to make it a little bit more stable. Let's see if we can't screw this up. Hey, we got power. We did have power. So, start heating. That don't look good. Is it supposed to do that? Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. What happened? Uh-oh. Maybe it's not gonna work. I should put the muffler on it. Why do we not have a power? Let's see what happens. Why is it shutting off? Oh, this isn't gonna work out like I was hoping. Is there an app for this or something? Well, I'm in the middle of woods. I don't have cell service anyways. Hmm. Abnormal voltage, what's that? That's probably where we're sitting. Zero one, check the heater supply voltage. But it's just shutting off. Just turn on without heating. On. So I poked the button a bunch of times. Oh, I thought it was working. We had 63 watts pulling out of there. I don't know if this jackery can handle this much power. That's a problem. Must be a glow plug or something trying to start. See, that kicks on. 027. And the fan runs. Maybe we'll try it on the FJ. Got to fire it up on the, on the FJ here. She seems to be running just like it should. You can see the exhaust is burn away all the materials, oils. It's nice and hot. Coming out of here, pretty warm. So I don't think the Jackery can handle the startup power. That's a bummer. All right, well, I've got two options. 
I don't use it. Or maybe I just use the battery out of the FJ and risk. I'm not in a good spot to be. Can't push start if I kill the battery. Well, I'm gonna let it run here for a second, play around with it, and I'll come up with a plan. <laughs> plan B. This is either a very dumb idea or it's gonna work. Thing is, is I am not on a hill to jump start this thing. So what my thought here is, we'll use this battery. If it kills it, hopefully it doesn't. What we're gonna do is I'm making sure my jumper pack is charged up and we'll rely on that if we have to. Hopefully we don't have to, let's find out. I've got some alligator clips. Now we wait and see. She's putting out a lot of heat. All right. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We'll run it like this. I'm gonna to try to figure out how to run this thing for a little bit. And we will, I don't know, try to use it, I guess. You know, one good thing about coming out here when there's weather like this is not only is it peaceful and quiet, but there's literally no one else around. The whole 10 miles I drove back here, I think I saw maybe two people. I'm the only one on top of this mountain right now. And it's pretty breathtaking. Certainly a Bob Ross painting. All right, I think it's about time for us to start thinking about some food. You know what's a bummer? I just realized I don't think I brought any water with me. Fortunately, not only is it raining, I don't even know if I have my water filter with me. I know I have a water filter, but it's a very old one. I'll have to look to see if I got my good one. I think I have a water catch. Let's fill up our bottle of water here. There we go. Let that fill up. I have some drinking water. This tarp, yeah, probably not the best thing to drink off of. Just gonna get some playa dust. Ain't no big deal. good water for dinner we're keeping it simple what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of beverage here we might need a little bit more than that that's okay we have more we're gonna get the onions in there I didn't bring any oil otherwise I would have done that route but it's okay we're gonna toss in some of these a couple brats One of the best smelling jars in the world. Oh, some dried peppers. Just a little bit of chili peppers. I'm not sure what kind of pepper they are. It's just an assortment of homegrown peppers. Break this up, let them rehydrate. Don't rub my eyes after this, because I did that once. Let's just go ahead and toss a couple of these in. Two should be fine. There's no radio station at all. Looks like we get to just listen to the rain. That's okay. It's peaceful. No, catastrophic. We were up in elevation and it blew up on me. Oh no, gross. That's a bummer, dude. Oh well. It's Halloween, right? Looks like I've sprung a leak. It doesn't look that appetizing, but I'm sure it's delicious.
That'll do just fine. At least I got a water pot up there to, to wash off. All right, I'm gonna enjoy some food here and I'm gonna button up camp. It's getting dark out now, so it's time to think about bedding down for the night. My zipper went bad. <laughs> Might have fixed it, just maybe. Use the bottom zipper, noted. All right, so we're basically laying in a pool of water, um, but the tent's still dry, no water on top, we're doing good. Don't you dare get on the blankets, copper. All right, whenever you're using fuel of any sort with a heat exchanger, Make sure you have a carbon monoxide. It's, it's a very cheap insurance to stay alive. For tonight's entertainment, I've got old school Nintendo games. time to get up and it looks still pretty dark out it's pretty early but I assume it is pretty cloudy the heater has been running probably close to a good 12 hours at this point and it's been nice and warm in here I can't complain about that and it's been doing fine Yeah, that'll do just fine. Here goes the moment of truth. Are we gonna have to figure out a way to start this thing? Oh man, there's all kinds of water in here. Oh man, I don't have the keys on me. We are in business. Well, this is kind of funny because I think my tent actually kept out more water than the FJ. I've got all kinds of water in here. Oh, man. All right. Well, we gotta find out where that's leaking from. It worked. The FJ started up. The FJ got more wet than the tent. I have to figure out how to scoop that water out here in a minute. Then I'm gonna pack up camp and we're gonna get out of the sogginess. All right, it's time for me to pack this all up. That's gonna be it for this one. So if you enjoyed this thing, feel free to follow along and I'll see you on the next one. On to the next adventure.